Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel for um, kind of a, a first uh, video that I'm making, uh, a sort of follow-up to this week's uh, reviews. Um, it's still kind of a new figure showcase, but basically we're going to be taking a consolidated look at the present toys, the good, the bad, and the ugly set of figures. Uh, reviews for all of those are up on my channel, so please check those out if you're interested. But again, um, just overall view, these actually ended up being a lot of fun to pose up and, and play with. So I figured some of you might be interested in seeing the, the trio overall. This won't be a full review or anything like that. It should just be a relatively quick look at, at our, our main characters here. And look, I think it's also a testament to how much I truly loved The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly and how much of a positive, positive response I had to having these figures in hand. Um, that, that I'm doing this, right? I love my Marvel figures. I love Star Trek uh, and Star Wars, right? But sometimes it's nice to get a different type of figure in your collection. And these three are the definition of iconic, right? Sure, there are a number of inconsistencies and things that I might need to fix up. But as a set, they really stand out. Uh, this to me is clearly an example of how amazing figures, how amazing figures from a series can look together. You know, sometimes figures that aren't that great can be elevated by being posed up all in their set. Here for me, these were pretty solid. So standing together, they, they really do do stand out. And, and the movie has some memorable scenes and lines. And I'm paraphrasing, but I think my favorite is Clint's line to Tuco after the shootout. You know, there are two kinds of people, my friend. Those with loaded guns and those who dig. You dig. And of course, the last line of the movie, which is a defiant Tuco yelling out another obscenity at Blondie as he's riding away. But with these figures, the immediate scene that came to mind was that final duel. Interestingly enough, it's the final 15 minutes or so of the movie that I always remember, starting from Tuco's run in the cemetery to the with the incredible Ennio Morricone soundtrack. And it's just him running around for two to three minutes with um, that track blasting. And it's called The Ecstasy of Gold, right? Which uh, is is critical right it, it makes sense with Tuco being so excited to, to get these riches um, I mean the, the fact that a scene that's basically just a musical track playing while Eli Wallach runs around making some great faces there's a thrill to that scene but of course the final duel is really what stands out again punctuated by that amazing score and it's the same thing right it's a total slow burn with all three gunslingers basically standing in their spots waiting to draw and all it is is the anticipation growing, right? With each of the characters looking at each other, eyes darting back and forth, and hands on gun belts, right? Or in Tuco's case, next to a hanging gun, just waiting for the right moment, right? He, he is a total mess in this movie. Um, it's such a great scene, though, that where everything works perfectly. And having the figures in hand, I did try to recreate that scene a little bit, very poorly, I'll admit, uh, just because I don't have the backdrops and all the set pieces. And um, I tried editing it in one of my shorts. I'm not sure how successful I was, but it was fun, right? Um, and, and look, I'll never be able to display them like that because they obviously take up a ton of valuable real estate, but still fun to try. And yeah, I use my phone to record so I can't get in close to the eyes, but this was just for fun. But overall, I think you could tell that these turned out to be great figures, which is always nice with third party. It's not always the case, so I'm happy to have these turn out so well. And yeah, I know there are a ton of in inaccuracies, which I myself pointed out, but I think this is going to turn into a project for me to improve on these and get them just right. Now, what do I think of present toys overall, having these in hand? I think they have a lot of figures coming out that I'm now interested in, in having, and I do have a couple in pre-order, like the Ripley, the Ghostbusters, and yeah, I may even order the Dominic Toretto. Don't judge me for that one. But someone did tell me when I got excited about the, the Good, the Bad, and the Ugly uh, trio that these are basically recasts of another custom set of head sculpts. And I have heard that Present Toys basically takes things from multiple sources and puts them together to create a, a solid piece. So it's almost like Tuco, right? Assembling a revolver out of multiple parts and, and piecing things together. But first experience with Present Toys is, is pretty positive. So I, while they're not the best, uh, they're not the worst by far. And I think I'll definitely be looking forward to adding some of their figures into my collection. And as far as the good, the bad, and the ugly, I, I love these figures. They turned out so well. I may try to pick up the Sideshow Blondie as well, um, just because I, Clint's character is so iconic that I, I feel like this is one where I don't know that I would necessarily mind having multiples of the same character. Um, and now that I'm feeling in this cowboy kind of kick, uh, I'm definitely still looking at picking up the preacher figure that Sideshow has from Pale Rider, and I'm definitely looking forward to the uh, William Money from uh, Unforgiven. 
So that that's probably gonna be a day one pre-order for me. So yeah, quick look at our trio from The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, and really happy just with how these turned out overall. I don't think I've been this psyched for new figures in a while, uh, so that's clearly a, a plus. Uh, and I don't know that I'm gonna be doing a lot of these, right? I might do something similar once you know, I finish lines, it might be something where once I have all the figures that were released from something, like the Loki figures might be something worth looking at together, right? Because in aggregate, I think sometimes those figures can be elevated. So I might do these like quick recap videos just to take a look at everything um, in the future. I don't know that they're going to be commonplace, but uh, again, this was just really a quick summary video and some thoughts uh, that I had as I was putting uh, the figures together and, and trying to pose them up. Um, so let me know your thoughts on these as well. And as always, thanks for watching me and joining me for this quick, uh, quick clip. And if you are enjoying the content, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing, and we'll touch base on the next video.